Hey guys, welcome back to Not Committed. In today's video, we are discussing if co-sleeping ruins your sex life. Let's do it. So, um, how about we define co-sleeping first? Okay. Co-sleeping for us, um, I'm, and I'm saying for us because I'm not sure of the actual definition of co-sleeping verbatim what it what um i don't know an expert would say it is but for us and and a just the gist of it is co-sleeping is when your children or child um sleep with you in your bed at night mm -hmm. while you rest uh yeah so that's what co-sleeping is it's it's what the term says is co-sleeping and sleeping with your children and um for anyone who is just viewing this video and have really no background on who we are or you know anything about us or why we could be talking about this this topic we have two young children we have a son and a daughter um and for both of our children we co-slept one i would say for my child for my son you know, I was that new parent that mm -hmm. checked on my son every no, but, single second. But, but they, they like, they like make you antsy like that because like yeah. you start to read these books and, and yeah. you seeing stuff and it's like you know you can have uh, SIDS. Yeah. And like you know, and then and then you hear stories about you know children going to sleep and like not waking up and stuff like that. And it's just that was just terrifying. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we were just like. No, you're not gonna be in another room. I yeah, need to. Yeah. I need to hear you, yeah. see you breathing. See you. I need to see your time. chest going up your back. Oh, I, I, up. I, I even went like that a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Like I, I would lay, lay my hand like, ever so gently on his back. I need to see it raise a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think the first night we actually let him sleep in the. Um, we didn't even go to the to the, to the degree of getting like a bassinet or anything like that. We did have a crib, but he didn't use it. I think he napped in there like one time. Maybe one time, and I might even have stayed in the room while he napped. But I think the first time we like no, actually I don't think no no no, I don't think he did at all. What you think, Ani did? Yeah, I think it was, I think uh, it was Ani. Ani. Ani just took a nap in there. I think Ani yeah. just took a nap in there, yeah. but um. I think the first night I propped him up in a um a neck pillow mm -hmm. that we got from Vegas mm -hmm. and the um changing table. It was like a it was like it wasn't like the hard one, the old one that we had that was like wooden and like oh god on yeah, your back. It, it was um, it was like a cushiony It was a it was like a little extra add on to yeah. uh, to a pack and play. So it wasn't anything below it, it just fell like it fell it contoured to his body. Right, right. And so I put him in there and I I I um I fluffed up some little baby blankets and he was so tiny of course because he was just like a couple of days old that he fit so perfectly into the um into the neck pillow and you know he was he, he was, was swaddled he was that, swaddled all around yeah he was swaddled and then I put blankets and then um on top of the neck pillow and then I just kind of ever so gently just laid him down in the neck pillow and mm -hmm. and put some blankets on top of him and it was just the most precious thing ever mm -hmm. um but that was the only night that we that we did that now we did have a co-sleeper there are things called co-sleepers where they're like little baby beds mm -hmm. that you put in your bed um to kind of so you won't roll over because you hear people and i'm sure the medical professionals would um probably suggest against co-sleeping even though they sell co-sleepers everywhere mm -hmm. um for i guess parents like us that's just going to do it anyways but um you know just a co-sleeper which is like a hardened kind of exterior thing where um you can set your child in it or lay your child in it and so you can't roll over on your baby yeah. or hopefully you know if you if you roll and touch it it, it will wake you up and it will cause you to reposition yourself and you know go back to sleep so we did have those I think we had a couple of those um and he slept in there our son co-slept with us from 
day two of being home <laughs> until he was three. Only to be replaced by our daughter mm -hmm. who was born when our son was three. Um, mm -hmm. But she so, was like when... When, uh, and he slept even with us like for the first like maybe week and yeah. then he was and then he He's was like, a right, big boy he was right, like I gotta go in my room I go in my room yeah 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 so. but um we we had um but when when he was two he used to he used to start out in his bed oh, and yeah. then and then at, at some point he just he ended up backing out of it no well, I remember one night he broke my heart because he I woke up and found him laying on the floor. In the uh, in the hallway or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even feel like he like kind of he called out for me or anything like that. I feel like he just he thought he was supposed to be in his bed maybe, and but he wanted to be in our bed, so he just decided, well, I'll just sleep. And it was like right outside of our door, and like, oh, it could have brought tears to my eyes. I'm so serious. Yeah. So um, at that point, it was like, no, no, baby, come, come, come on back, come on back. <laughs> Um, now he want to do with it. Yeah, now he's like, I'll see y'all be in my room. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so we co-slept with both of our both of our children, and so um, so what would this be the uh, the fifth year? Yeah, basically. of us co-sleeping because our son our son is five, even though he left a little mm -hmm. at, at three. Then came Ani, and we kind of like co sleep. I think I don't think we had co sleeper with her. We used the body pillows. Um, no, we did have a co sleeper. Oh, we had a co sleeper with her. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. And, and, uh, and actually, we, but we, I did. We have a king size bed, so it wasn't okay, like yeah. like we were like like on top of each other. Yeah, 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 it, it, it was. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, was plenty of plenty of room for her. I mean, really, and you know, as a mom, I would sleep on the edge of the edge of the edge of the bed. Basically, one foot on the floor, you know, just to make sure that my baby, and of course, this guy has enough room in the bed, even though it's a king size. But, um, uh, so, um, we did sleep with, co slept with both of our children. I did try her outside of the bed, um, but she was right next to me again for maybe one night, and then she was back in the bed but that really wouldn't count as us having no kids in the bed because I think at that time she had just came home and King was still with us so um yeah so we yeah. co-slept um but 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 now like she so like we we put her her like her toddler bed uh, beside next our bed. to our bed yeah uh, which some people would be like oh no 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 hey, hey do, this bro. is what works for hey. us you know, so and she does sleep in, and she and her her room is furnished as well. She has her her big big girl bed mm -hmm. in her room, and she has her taller bed um, next to my side of the bed, which she which she goes in sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I at this point, of course, she's almost she's two and a half, almost three. I don't have no problem with like her, you know, checking to see if she's breathing or anything. I think she just likes to sleep with us, and I don't have a problem. Yeah, so to the main event though, does that affect your it, sex life? I guess you can. It would. Of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. But not to the point where you can't have other children because apparently, yeah, <laughs> we've had we had that. another child. So you know, but so so, so fellas, I'm gonna give y'all a few tips um, to still uh, uh, family channel. Um, <laughs> To still come, come together, together. Uh, with your Pray wife um, when you co-sleep. So one of the things you got to do is you got to set the tone early. So like when you get home from work, when your wife get home from work, you know, pat on her butt a little bit. You know, pat on her butt again. <laughs> pat on her butt often. Let her know, hey, hey, <laughs> train pulling in tonight. <laughs> right? So she already got oh, that in her mind. Goodness. She already got that in her mind. So, that's in her mind. You know, we start to put the kids down early. Settle early. You know, make sure the lunch pack, you know, throw them in the tub. You know, whatever we need to do, do it early. Do it early. Especially with our schedules because we wake up early. So, mm -hmm. we got to, we got to, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um. Figure things out. Oh, yeah. Or, or I'll so, bring that up later. So, basically, what you need to do is set the tone early so that your wife know, hey. No games. 
Alright? And what you need to do with the kids is the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't I don't I don't know if, if y'all have a family iPad and everybody share. Listen, invest in an iPad for your children. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That they know how to work it. Don't more, worry. More more inexpensive option books. I guess you can read. Yeah, they can't read. They can't read in the dark. Look, Cam, I hate you. Like, that's you know, true. That's true. You know, don't you want to go in your brother's room? Don't y'all yeah. want to? Look, set them up. You know, to have them watch a movie or something like that. Get them out of the way. Handle your business. <laughs> All right. Or, or, or if, it's, if it's a certain, you know, situation where... You know, you might, you might, they might have been running around all day, you know, doing this and doing that. And they all, they all tired. Get them prepared for bed. Put them there. They're going to, they're going to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Like when, when kids are tired, tired, they fall asleep. When they're tired, they get recharged. But when they're yeah. tired, tired, <laughs> they'll fall right to sleep. Yeah. Sometimes you got, you got to wait them out. Yeah, that is true. But we have like, we have like a, like a, like a early schedule. So we got to like really figure it out or, and well, when your children fall asleep, especially if, if you have the one that's sleeping with you, mm -hmm. um, our son, he doesn't sleep with us anymore. So, you know, he does his own thing. Um, but when he did sleep with us, uh, once they, once they fall asleep, you got the whole rest of the, the bed to yourself or. And pick them up and take them to their bed. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. They're going to come back. You, so, can, you can do that. You know, but, you know, you, you should be able to, you know, do what you got to do. And hopefully they don't wake them. up during the situation. We, we've we had a couple instances. I didn't, I didn't step you out know, of a child. Oh, my baby. My, you listen. My, <laughs> my baby. And, like, you know, hopefully they don't wake up because then they're, like, you know, if they're a baby, baby, they, you know, they're just crying because they woke up. Or if they're like our two year old and they're like, Mommy, Mommy, are you okay? Like, it's just like, you know, asking questions. I'm like, Girl, you don't sit down, so we get out of here. So, um, or, you know, if you happen to be at home, you know, on a day where your kids are at school or daycare, you gotta get it, get in. it in. Get it in. Where you fit it in. Right. Wherever that might be. All over we the house. We won't leave no. The details, oh, but sorry. you know, it, wherever wherever you wherever you might be, you know, um, you know, my understanding is men is, men are always in the mood. I don't I don't know how true that is, but um, so I'm pretty sure they don't have a problem if your child is not home. It's not being nighttime or whatever like that. Let's just don't matter. Let's just pantry. Oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where the food is. It's like it's closed and it's, it's 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 concealed food, but uh pantry yeah. living room, whatever. What just just Oh gosh, I gotta live when we get company. But anyways, um yeah, I mean just wherever you can. I don't think that co sleeping has to stop you from um enjoying one another's company it makes you more creative sexually it definitely makes you more creative you, you, to, you can't you can't rely on just oh you know we we, we go to bed at night and nah you you, you gotta be yeah you gotta be creative i figure you figure your situation out because you don't want to um you don't want that to go away um or you know you find yourself only having sex because you know you know you you want to have a kid all right let's have sex like you, you know you don't want it to be like you're having sex to, like, to make a child or whatever. You know, that's another video um, we should probably do, too, about, uh, like, our our approach to, you know, having the children and, like, not, like, you know. Well, we, I we, thought you, I thought thought you were going to say, I thought you was going to say your approach to making sure you got a boy and a girl. Oh, when you... fellas, um, send me a message. I ain't, ain't going to say it on the video. Send me a message. If you want a boy, I got you. If you want a girl, I got you. I called it both times. He called it, but also we 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 put we put unto the petition unto the Lord our yeah. desires. Amen. But faith without works is dead. All right. He he said he know. I, I know I know exactly. Never mind. I, 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 <laughs> 
Duarte. Send me a message. Oh I'll my let you gosh. Know. So he think he had everything to do with it. I I had a plan too. Fellas. Ladies. Fellas. Ladies. Instagram. Ladies. At not committed. Let, let me let me tell you yeah, what I, I had. I'll to let do you know exactly. To, you know, make sure I got my boy first. Exactly. Make for the, sure for the I have boy, my girl. Have you want to? We can let him have his way, but I did hmm. Okay. But anyways, co-sleeping does not have to ruin your sex life. Will you have to be like you said a little more creative? Yes. Will you have to start to figure it out? You can't just roll over and just be like you know let's do you have to i think having children period you have to start to figure out your situation because you got your kids walking in when they get the chance to walk when they can walk and talk yeah you can kind of ignore them for a few minutes mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and kind of be like you'll be all right you know mm -hmm. you just waking up just settle down for a minute um but when they started walking in and they started they start to ask talking and asking general. questions and being like you know, probing and poking and blah, blah, blah. It's just like, oh, hold one second now. So you got to you gotta figure those things out. But it's not impossible. No, it's really not. Trust it's me. Not, it's definitely not impossible. And go it's, ahead. it's definitely not. And uh, fellas, I just want to leave you with this. Um, you know, back to the setting the tone. You know, what you want to do is you want to you wanna make deposits, you know, so that you can make a withdrawal later. All right? <laughs> I just said, the, 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 the more you deposit, the more you can take out. All right? Like, you know, hey, do something nice for her. Like, cook dinner. You know? Like, so, so she can be relaxed. I'm cooking tonight. You know, just stuff like that. <laughs> he is cooking tonight, so we'll, we'll see how things go. But, yeah. Um, early timing. Mm -hmm. Um... Space and opportunity. You got to take advantage of that space and opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, when your kid's not around, make the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I know a lot of times as parents, when we don't have our kids, is when we really can focus on our errands and our cleaning and our chores and everything. But at the same time, that is a big part of your marriage and you still have to make time for um, intercourse. So... Yeah, I would, I, I, I know that people would, just back to the co-sleeping thing, I know that medical professionals, as far as I um, have heard, yeah. would suggest against co-sleeping, yeah. but co-sleeping does not, it, 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 I don't feel like it was, um, not even if to say, you know, if we didn't co-sleep, our kids would be out of our bed right now. I don't necessarily... Um, when I wake up in the morning and my neck hurt, my back snapped up. I'm just mm -hmm. like, yeah, you could have slept in your own bed last night, Shawty. But, you know, I don't I don't have an issue with co-sleeping. I don't feel like, you know, it has taken too much out of us that we that we don't have time and, you know, together or whatever the case is. So, mm -hmm. um, I don't have a problem with co-sleeping. I I don't have a problem with my daughter's toddler bed being next to us. I mean, she got less than another six months at three. She'll be, <laughs> she'll be out and put on the same timeline as right. her brother. But, and, and, and then, and then please remember that, you know, when you put them in their bed, they're going to come right back. Right. So all you got to do is just put them in their bed for a little bit. Boom, bam, boom. Mm -hmm. Bop, bop. Mm -hmm. And then by the time they come back in your bed, you knocked out. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is true. I don't fall asleep as fast as the one does. But he just falls asleep naturally, just like that. But um, that is true. I mean, children, don't, don't have to, they don't have to ruin your, your situation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so get cre three. Okay, what's three things that you would say? I would say space and opportunity, like I said. Mm -hmm. um, get creative and... Make deposits. Oh, you say make and withdrawals. withdrawals. It's gonna be withdraw <laughs> withdrawals, withdrawals. Oh gosh. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, little, 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 little subtleties to you know 
And that ties back into our PDA video that we did like a while back. Mm -hmm. You know, if y'all out and about, a little PDA action. And then you can already have in mind in mind what's gonna go down and so you can you can plan accordingly. You set the tone. Set the tone. Set the tone. So um thank y'all for watching and uh fellas again, you know, if you wanna if you wanna know exactly how to get that boy or get that girl, uh he didn't hit me do up on anything. Instagram I mean of course he did committed. he did something, but I mean hey, I, I did it. the work. I called it. I did the work. Ten ten months. I did work first. Plus some. I did the work first. Because I had six actions. But up, up front, you do nothing. What do you do? You do nothing. I said the tone. I did the work. That's, that's me. Let us know if co sleeping work for you. All right? Uh, come back and see us next time. Um, and have a beautiful day. I was up 8% on my screen time last week. Mm -hmm. Maybe because we had a half a day at one time.